opportunity to speak. My name is Nafis, and I come from Bangladesh, where the second wave of COVID-19 is killing people that I grew up with, it's killing people that I know, friends and family and relatives, and countless others. Right now, there are not enough vaccines to even vaccinate 1% of the population. But all these deaths that are incoming can be prevented. That is why I'm here with you to ask the Biden administration support the TRIPS waiver agreement with yeah. WTO. Yeah. 3,293. That's how many people died of COVID-19 yesterday in India. 3,086. That's the number of people who died in Brazil yesterday from COVID-19. The death toll from this pandemic keeps on increasing throughout the world while the global north is hoarding their vaccine supplies and their technological know-how. Today, we are here in front of Moderna, one of the vaccine producers, to say no more. No more hoarding. No more hoarding. No more secrecy. No more intellectual property. Yep. No more intellectual property breeds innovation bullshit. Yeah. And that's a fucking lie. Moderna is on track to make $18 billion of revenue this year. Their executives dumped stocks and made millions of dollars even before phase one trial data was out. We have already seen it. Yeah. Pfizer is telling their investors that they're gonna make a killing. Literally a killing while people die and they're gonna build that to buy selling third booster doses first to one of their countries. The deaths of thousands every day are just more opportunities to profiteer. They easily forget that their vaccine research, development and production are all financed by public money. Our money, your money, everybody's money, but not theirs. Millions of dollars of taxpayer money has been funneled through Operation Warp Speed that has brought us these vaccines. Yet they act like they own it. Is that right? No. To safeguard these profits and to deny the global South a chance at survival and a chance to stop the continued evolution of this pandemic, they have mobilized their army of lobbyists. Yesterday, the Intercept reported that over 100 lobbyists have been working within the Biden administration to prevent waiver of the IP. They've also pointed out our quote-unquote favorite billionaire Bill Gates, the great philanthropist who believes that by hoarding the vaccines we can cure this pandemic. Ooh. And it's not just the COVID-19 vaccine. That vaccine is only the beginning. To quote a Financial Times article from April 25, companies have warned in private meetings with the U.S. trade and White House officials that giving up the intellectual property rights would allow China and Russia to exploit platforms such as mRNA which could be used for other vaccines or even therapeutics for conditions such as cancer and heart problems in the future. Fuck that shit! That's good! This sort of fear mongering is ironic when you know that U.S. pharma companies regularly outsource their research to Chinese contractors and that India is one of the biggest manufacturers of generic drugs that enter the U.S. market. What about they stop doing that? Right. Yeah, right. It's a cruel joke and a business as usual under capitalism that the right. global south is continually used to extract resources and labor to make the life-saving vaccines for the global north. Much has been said about how immigrants have led the fight against vaccines, fight against COVID, doctors, nurses, researchers, even heads of these pharmaceutical companies. But where is the outcry and demand when it comes to helping the nation where these immigrants are from? The hypocrisy of applauding immigrants only when their service to the global north has become fucking palpable in the face of this vaccine apartheid. All right. Today, we are here to tell Moderna and the shareholders that will not stand for this vaccine apartheid. We are here to demand that the Biden administration meet the demands of 100 and more countries and support a temporary trips waiver that is critical to end this pandemic. I applaud President Biden and the administration's decision to share the extra of AstraZeneca vaccine doses, but that's not enough. No. It's never fucking enough. No. We need the IP waiver. Yes. Yeah. We cannot wait until 2024 to vaccinate the rest of the world. It does not make sense from a scientific or a moral standpoint. A global pandemic needs a global solution. Right. The fastest way to do so. Right. The fastest
fastest way to do so would be to waive intellectual property rights for the COVID-19 vaccine, a vaccine that we paid for, and sign the trips waiver. We are the Biden administration to do that. Before I end, I just want to say that I came here from my second dose of vaccine and I'm fucking incredibly privileged and fortunate to have received my vaccine as most of you have, may have already received it. But that wouldn't have been possible if I was living in Bangladesh. This vaccine belongs to the people and needs to be returned to the hands of the people. Who's vaccine? Our vaccine! Who's vaccine? Our vaccine! Who's vaccine? World vaccine! Who's vaccine? Our vaccine!